The Blackboard Assignment Tool provides a link for students to submit assignments, papers, or coursework online. The Assignment Tool also allows you, the instructor, to manage and grade the students' submissions online or offline via the Grade Center. This tutorial will show you how to create an assignment, explore the different settings you'll come across during the creation process, and show you how the assignment link will appear to your students, and where to access the submitted assignment. First, you go to your Blackboard course and go to a content area where you want your students to access the assignment. An example of a content area is the resources area, which you can access via the left course menu and clicking on resources. You can combine assignments this way with other helpful materials presented by week, topic, or other way to segment in your course. Other instructors find it helpful to create a new content area and call it assignments, which will only be used for creating and accessing assignments. To do this, ensure your edit mode is on in the top right of your course site, click the plus sign in the top corner of your course menu, and then select the top item, content area, name and assignments. Ensure you select the checkbox to make it available to students, unless you wish to hide access for now. Click Submit to Save. The new assignments content area will fall to the bottom of the course menu. You can drag it to your preferred location on the menu. From the assessments menu, select assignment and type the name and instructions for the assignment. You may also attach documents from your computer by clicking on browse my computer or drag files from your computer to the area inside the broken lines. Optionally, you can use the date fields to enter a due date. Using this option will not block submissions after the due date. Instead, they will be marked as late. In the grading section, enter the total number of points your students can get for this assignment. If you wish to attach a rubric that can be used in grading submissions, click on Add Rubric and choose one of the options. Select Rubric associates a rubric that has already been created in the Rubrics area of the course tools. Create New Rubric opens a window to allow immediate creation of a new associated rubric. Create from Existing uses a previously created rubric as a template to create a newly associated rubric. Next, we'll go over the three expandable sections that give more settings to choose from. Under Submission Details, you can choose what type of assignment you are creating, individual, group, or portfolio assignment. Note that if you intend to use groups for assignments, you will need to create the groups beforehand. By default, individual submission is selected. Number of attempts allows you to choose how many times a student can submit. By default, single attempt is selected, but you have options to allow multiple attempts or unlimited attempts. If you want the submissions to go through SafeAssign's plagiarism detection, tick the box for check submissions for plagiarism using SafeAssign. Optionally, you can enable Allow Student to View the SafeAssign Originality Reports on their submissions, which allows students to see the results of the plagiarism check done on their submission. Exclude all submissions from this assignment from the institutional or global reference databases. Tick this box if you don't want the submissions from the assignments to be included in the database that will be used for comparisons when detecting plagiarism on all papers that go through SafeAssign for you, Windsor. Currently, we're not submitting to the Global Reference Database. Grading options. Provide options related to anonymous and delegated grading. However, at the current time, the university does not recommend use of these options as they have been known to have a few bugs in some circumstances. Expanding Display of Grades gives the following options. Choose how the grades for this assignment are displayed. By default, Score is selected, which will show the raw score given. Including grading calculations must be checked if you wish to use the grades for this assignment in calculating the student's marks in the course. Show to students in My Grades. Check this box if you want the scores to show to students. 
We recommend that this be unchecked until all submissions for the assignment have been graded. Show average and median statistics for this column to students in my grades. Tick if you want your students to see how the entire class did as a whole in this assignment. The last section shows the availability options. Make the assignment available. Check this box if you wish the assignment to be immediately available as soon as we click on Submit. You can also set assignments to display on specific date and time and to stop displaying on a specific date and time. To turn on tracking statistics for an assignment, select Yes for track number of views. Tracking statistics records the number of times an assignment is viewed, when it is viewed, and by whom. Finally, click on Submit to finish. You can now see the assignment link you created. Your students will see it also if you have selected it to be available. To make changes to this assignment, hover your mouse to the gray chevron beside the assignment name and click on Edit. To check and test out the assignment and complete it as a student, select the Student Preview button that looks like an eye beside the Edit Mode button at the top right corner of your site. You'll see an orange band across your site when in Student Preview. Once you have checked to see it is visible and the instructions are clear for students, you can also practice submitting the assignment to see what the students will experience. As you can see, your students can now either write their submission or attach a file from their computer. Test it yourself with the sample file to upload. To practice grading, ensure when you leave the Student Preview using the Exit Preview button at the top, Select the second option to keep the preview user and the data. Otherwise, select the first option. Additional notes regarding assignments. Creating an assignment automatically creates a column in your Grade Center. Students will receive an email upon successful submission with a unique ID. To view and mark assignment submissions, go to your Control Panel, Grade Center, and select either Needs Grading to see a queue of the assignments ready to grade, or go directly to the Full Grade Center for all assessments, or click the Smart View for assignments to only see assignments in the Grade Center. Once in the Full Grade Center, look for the yellow exclamation mark for the work that needs a grade. To access an existing assignment submission for regrading or editing, hover over the gray chevron in the student cell and click the Temp to access the work grading screen. Click View Details to access the history of the grade, Manual Override, Give Another Attempt, Clear Attempt, or Other Attempts. To recap, we have shown you where and how to add assignments, available settings for your assignment, such as due date, rubrics, grading, and availability, how your assignment will appear to your students, and where to access the submitted assignment. If you need further help using your Blackboard site, please visit uwindsor.ca forward slash blackboard where you can search for articles and find ways to get in touch with us.